Hello, my name is Rose Mitchell and I am the librarian at the African American Resource Center at LA County Library. Today I would like to tell you about the Underground Railroad and quilt codes. The Underground Railroad is part of a larger story of personal and cultural survival of proud African people brought to America against their will. Prior to 1860, America captured and enslaved about four million black Africans. Slavery came about because Americans needed workers to do the difficult labor on the sprawling plantations that stretched across the South and because slave traders saw an opportunity to make a great deal of money buying and selling slaves. From the beginning, slaves tried to escape from slave holders, but attempting an escape or helping someone else to escape was dangerous and could result in severe punishment or death. The Underground Railroad is the name for the secret route that slaves took to escape to freedom. It was so named because freedom seekers or escaping slaves who traveled on this underground route seemed to vanish as if traveling underground. It was, of course, not a real railroad, but rather a series of safe holding places called stations. The people who helped the freedom seekers travel from one station to the next, was, uh, they were known as railroad workers or conductors, such as Harriet Tubman. The people who helped the escaping slaves get food and places to sleep were known as station masters. People who worked and travel on the railroad used secret codes to learn the routes from one safe place to the next. Although some scholars dispute this, researchers have found evidence that an underground railroad quilt code existed to guide enslaved people to freedom. So, escaping from the plantation, as I said, was a life or death decision for the slave because they lacked reading and writing abilities, they were enslaved in a, a country they knew nothing about, and they were easily set apart from others by their skin color. Where could you go? Whom could you trust? Most information regarding escape had to be committed to memory and passed on by word of mouth using codes, signs, and symbols created by the slaves and only shared with those who could be trusted. Because slaves of all backgrounds shared an oral history of storytelling coupled with the knowledge of textile production and African art, an art form which embodies uh, African symbol, symbolic systems and designs, they discovered they were able to communicate complex messages in the stitches, patterns, designs, colors, and fabrics of the American quilt. Here are a few samples of Underground Railroad quilt pattern codes and their messages. First, we have the monkey wrench. This design uh, was to prepare the tools you need for a long journey. That was the message. The wagon wheel design, the message was, it's time to load the wagon or prepare to escape. The bear's paw design told the slaves to take a mountain trail out of view or take the path of the bear. The crossroads design uh, told the slaves that the main crossroad was Cleveland, Ohio, a destination offering several routes to freedom. 
The bow ties told the slaves to dress in a disguise or put on a change of clothes. The flying geese design uh, was the pattern that told slaves to follow the migrating geese north towards Canada and to freedom. The drunkard's path design told the slaves to create a zigzag path to avoid detection. The North Star instructed slaves to follow the North Star to Canada and to freedom. The log cabin, that is the design that we are using today to create cards which was used to let slaves know where safe houses were. The symbol could also be drawn on the ground by others as a signal that they could be trusted by the slaves and it was safe to talk to them. While we won't be able to create a fabric quilt today, we can take inspiration from generations of quilters and create a log cabin pattern from colorful paper. Before we begin our project, I would like to mention that we have been inviting the African American quilters of Los Angeles uh, to exhibit their quilts annually at AC Bilbrew Library. Uh, one of their members, who is a local artist named Ramses, uh, created this beautiful quilt depicting the Underground Railroad hero, Harriet Tubman. We have many resources on quilting in our library system. And the African American Research Center has a few unique items on African American quilting in our collection. I welcome you to visit the African American Research Center at AC Bilbrew Library so that you can explore some of our collection and also attend some of our community programs. So thank you for being here today and I look forward to seeing you at our African American Resource Center.